Hello, welcome to this webcast about data quality in cattle. My name is Emiel van den Berg and I'd like to show you how you can integrate the human inferences data quality components in your cattle transformations. Let's take this data set as an example. It contains some example records containing names, addresses, phone numbers and email addresses. We can see that there are some data quality problems in this data. This name is probably not correct. The postcode is missing from this address. Here is a phone number that doesn't contain a country code. And this email address seems to have one letter missing. Okay, let's now see what data quality products can do about this. Let's begin with name cleansing. We have to select which are the fields that should be processed by name cleansing. The given name and the surname fields. The product will try to recognize the type of the field by its name. This works fine for the given name field, but the S name field in this example is not recognized. We can help the product by overriding the default setting, because we know that this column is about family names. In case the product doesn't recognize a name, it may return multiple suggestions. We can choose whether we want only the top one, or whether we want them all. For now, let's opt for getting multiple suggestions. We can filter the results of the name cleansing based on their reliability. If the name was not recognized, the record will contain a red traffic light. So we split the data based on the name traffic light. The main output will now contain the green names. And the error output will contain the other names. Let's see what we get. Here we get record 2 and 3. The traffic lights are green. The names have been capitalized correctly. And we get some extra information like gender and some status messages that supply more detailed information. If we now look at the other output, then we see multiple versions of record 1, having different suggestions for the name. Ok, so far for the names. Let's now look into the other fields, address, phone and email. Depending on your needs, you can either make separate transformations for them or include them in the current transformation. In this example, we will include them here. It's then wise to choose for only one suggestion per cleanse action, because otherwise it can happen that one record gets multiplied multiple times. So let's add address cleansing, phone cleansing and email cleansing. The configuration of these steps is similar to the configuration of the name step. If we now do a test run, then we get all the results appended to the original records. Here we can see that the postal code has been added to the address. The country code has been added to the phone number. And the email address has been corrected. Thank you for watching this webcast. I hope it inspires you to use the data quality components of human inference in your cattle transformations.